Hi, my name is Robert Ray with MP3 Car. We're here with Ron Rizzo from Optima Batteries, and he's kind enough to give us a 101 on some of the chemical stuff that happens behind batteries that we don't necessarily think about. But uh, by doing car computers, having clean power and proper power and knowing something that's reliable is pretty important. So we're happy to have you give us a tour. It's my pleasure to be here. Okay. Uh, we should talk just a few on, uh, points on the basics of lead acid batteries. Uh, they come in basically three varieties. Your typical flooded or wet lead acid battery, uh, a gelled version where mm -hmm. you take the same battery and just uh, add uh, silica to the electrolyte, form a, forming a gelled electrolyte, uh, and AGM or valve regulated batteries which are uh, typically like the Optima battery. It's a spiral cell design. AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. So all of the electrolyte in an Optima battery is uh, held inside the pores of the uh, separator and the active material itself. Okay. So the, there's, and there's different types of batteries. There's the, a battery that would be better for cold cranking amps yes. or for lots of power to start, and then there's batteries that are good for um, deeper discharge. And so what are the chemical differences really between the two types of batteries? Okay. Well, Optima's branded uh, red top and yellow top primarily for uh, automotive type applications and, and deep cycling applications. The automotive applications are just engine start, and that's a red top application. Mm -hmm. The deep cycle and engine start also it can be a yellow top. Okay. The, the chemical differences come in in the electrolyte that's used in both batteries. Uh, red top has a little lower acid gravity than a yellow top. Uh, it has a little higher cranking capability than a yellow top, but the yellow top has a higher energy content. Okay. And that's tied directly to the uh, uh, active material, the amount of active material put on the plates and on the acid gravity itself. Okay. Uh, a big chemical difference comes in when you look at the active materials. A red top for engine starting has a lower uh, density, higher porosity uh, composition than you'd find on the yellow top. And the reason for that is you're trying to put more energy content into the yellow top than you are in the red top, so you have to have a higher density material to do that. Uh, with the red top, it's just in, uh, engine start which is a very shallow uh, depth of discharge. So you, you go with a lower density material, which gives you a lower uh, co uh, energy content, but a higher cranking content. Well, why don't you show us, if, if you don't mind, what yeah. this looks like inside one of these batteries. Okay. This is a cross section of an Optima spiral cell design. This element came out of our standard group 34 uh, battery. And if you look inside here, it, it's, it might be a little difficult to see, but there's actually uh, layers of positive and negative active material that have a glass mat separator in between them. And the glass mat separator has some unique characteristics about it. And these, these are what give uh, AGM designs like Optima Spiral Cell uh, a big advantage in terms of uh, life. Uh, the high porosity of the separator allows any oxygen that is generated on overcharging to diffuse through from the positive plate to the negative. At the negative plate, it recombines and goes back into the discharge product. So in any given overcharge situation, you're continually recycling the oxygen. This translates into a lower water loss over the life cycle of the battery, uh, a feature that many wet lead acid batteries uh, cannot uh, claim because they are open to the atmosphere. Uh, AGM batteries are sealed. Uh, the gas generated in an AGM battery is recombined. The gas generated in a wet battery is vented to the outside. So you can suffer water loss in a wet battery and you rarely see, rarely see any water loss in an AGM battery like Optima. Uh, 